museum in around about 2002 because when I first came to Woods Halls, was a, one of the, everybody tries to get involved with everything. And I went to a Probus luncheon club and sitting on the table was a lady who said, you must volunteer for the Woods Park Cottage Museum. Everybody does when they start. And so I came in really as one of the very first um, volunteers to help catalogue the photographs. And sort of like most volunteers at this museum, you know, you think that you've got your life in control, but suddenly sort of things take off and the exciting events happen. And before I knew what was what, I was responsible for learning. And now, sort of so many years later, I'm now just the new chairman of this museum. Well, hello, I'm David Radford and I was the founder of the, I am the founder of the museum and uh, have been chairman for 25 years um, and now feel that the museum is at a, such a strong position that um, I was able to hand over the reins to a wonderful body of volunteers. How did I come to get involved? Well, I, I came to Woodhall Spa to teach um, at St Hugh's School, a, a local preparatory school, and um, really knew nothing about Woodhall Spa at all. Uh, I got married and, uh, and very often a light bulb used to go in our flat, so I went down to the local electricians and there I first met John Weald in the form of one of his photographs. Of course, the Cottage Museum is his home, or was his home. The Cottage Museum is where all his photography actually uh, was created. Anyhow, I gradually learned more about Woodhall Spa. And um, then the time came when I heard that East Lindsay District Council might be interested in getting a museum started in the place. And so I used to go along to their meetings taken by Bill Skelton, uh, our local uh, press photographer. And Bill um, uh, took me a number of times to the meetings. Anyhow, out of those meetings obviously came a desire uh, for something to commemorate how Woodhall Spa started, because there was no real record of its beginning. It was a young Victorian spa, and people hadn't got to that point, but there were still lots of memories about that I felt needed to be saved, and so my interest took me forward um, along those lines. And the 21st century, of course, now has the museum at a point where it has got Heritage Lottery funding uh, for part one of our plans for developing the area so it has more opportunity to share its treasures with people who, from far and wide, who live in the local community and from beyond. And hopefully the heritage of Woodall Spa will be well and truly uh, recorded for many, many years to come. And in fact, the children of Woodall Spa will become interested through our activities um, so that they create a heritage um, record of their time and their lives. And so a community knowledge will be built up over the years of what Woodall Spa is and means to its population today. <laughs>